While the euro is roughly flat ahead of a snap election in France, the dollar is opposed for new gains, and not just against the European currencies. This week, the British pound, Swiss franc and Australian dollar are in a vulnerable position as the central banks make monetary policy decisions. And today, the Reserve Bank of Australia left its key interest rate on a hold at a 4.35% for a fifth consecutive board meeting. Against this background, the antibody currencies kicked off Tuesday's session on a negative note, soon joined by the Japanese yen. The currency of the world's fourth um, largest economy broke through all previous barriers to settle at 158 yen per dollar. However, Bank of Japan Governor Katsu Ueda said the regulator could raise interest rates as early as July. The Japanese central bank is currently waiting for wage growth, which is supposed to drive up prices and lift inflation to the 2% target. As the Bank of Japan navigates this vicious cycle, the yen is trading at its lowest level in 30 years. Meanwhile, the dollar is set to gain strong upside momentum. After sliding on Monday, the world's leading currency has added 0.2% against its six rivals today and is likely to extend gains. Following the Fed Reserve's decision to keep its key interest rate steady at 5.5%, major currency pairs have come under pressure from the greenback. Judging by the dollar's chart, it will be too difficult for other currencies to resist its strength. Today, the US dollar is trading in the range of 105.20 to 105.50. In the event of upbeat statistics, the American currency may well extend its bullish run. On Wall Street, US stocks closed with the solid gains on a Monday, and the S&P 500 index rose by 0.77% marking its 30th record close of the year. The rally was largely driven by a surge in the technology stocks. Today, the benchmark index started the trading day more cautiously but continued to trade in the green range over 5,420 to 5,489 points. While Wall Street uh, and the US dollar are focused on economic data and interest rate prospects, the euro is being driven by politics. Even today's inflation data from Europe barely caught the attention of currency traders. Data showed that the euro area inflation rate came in at 2.6% in May, but the news did not steer much interest. Perhaps this is because these were final figures that merely confirmed preliminary estimates that had already been priced in. At the same time, the Eurozone wage data is a leading indicator. The euro reacted to the rise in wages with a slight yet noticeable bounce. Reports show that wage growth in the Eurozone suddenly accelerated to 5.3% from a 3.2%. Economists had anticipated an increase of a 2.8%. Since wage growth fuels inflation, this could be a reason for a more hawkish monetary policy from the European Central Bank, which increases might not spend, uh, speed up inflation, but um, they may allow it um, to stabilize at the high levels. However, the strengthening of the dollar euro pair seems uncertain. Despite this, the euro managed to stay above the critical support line of 1.07, gaining almost 0.3% yesterday. Statements provided by Marine Le Pen boosted the single currency. She said that if her party won the upcoming parliamentary elections in France, she would work with President Macron. The euro's slump at the end of the last week could be explained by fears of a potential eurozone breakup. Le Pen's words uh, reassured the markets.
With the several Fed Reserve officials set to speak today, market attention is a shifting to the comments. Additionally, the United States is going to publish a book of information. We have already discussed these events in the trader's calendar video. The euro will hardly climb noticeably. The currency pair will probably continue its inertial movement or even hit towards this year's local low. If the number of short positions on the euro drops, the downward trend will slacken, and thus causing a significant price rebound within the range of 1.0718 and 1.0743. With the euro experiencing a tense lull and markets awaiting news from the United States, Earl settled into a tight sideways range between $83.60 and $84.50 per barrel. Interestingly, despite the lack of a significant factors, Brent crude rose above the $84 level today. Over the past week and a half, futures for this European benchmark have seen notable gains. From a technical perspective, a firm consolidation above the $85 level could trigger a further increase in the volume of long positions. However, brand crude is overbought according to short-term time frames, which is likely to limit its bullish run. Recent reports from OPEC, the International Energy Agency and the U.S. Energy Information Administration point to a steady increase in oil demand in the second half of the year. However, today's rally in Brent crude appears to be local. Soon, oil prices are likely to resume losses, especially if upcoming reports on the U.S. crude oil inventory show a significant increase, as expected. You have watched Market Review on the InstaForex TV channel. We wish you profitable trading and um, waiting for you on our channel.